89 million in blitz. In this video, we are talking to the world's all time top blitz scorer, and he is gonna reveal what he did to get such an insane score. So yeah, we're talking about blitz bots. We are talking about how much money he spent to get such a score and how do these blitz predictions affect him? Uh, all of that and more coming up. So if you're ready for it, guys, you know what to do. Let's go smash it. Valley flying. What is up, Valley Maniacs? Valley flying here. I am back. Welcome to the channel, guys. Hey, we got a fun video planned today. We are talking to Steel. And if you don't know who Steel is, he is the all time leading Blitz scorer ever. Put it the biggest score of all time ever in Blitz mode in Marvel Strike Force this past weekend 89 million in this Corvus Glaive Blitz. So in this video, I am talking with him and he is going to tell me exactly what he did to get such a crazy score. Hopefully, it helps you with your blitzing. Maybe you could score a little more with some of the tips that he gives. But we are definitely going to talk about blitz bots. We're definitely going to talk about money. How much money does it take to get a crazy score like that? We're going to talk about my brother Casino and his blitz predictions. Do those affect a player like Steel? Well, we're going to talk about all of that and a lot more, guys. So without further ado, let's get to the interview with Steel. Steel Hulk, what is up, brother? Good. How's, uh, how's, how's everybody doing? Oh, everybody's doing good. How are you doing? Your fingers must be tired after that crazy score. 89 million for this past Corvus Blitz. My goodness, what were you doing, brother? Well, I'm just busy tapping away. <laughs> Man, that, that is that is over 20 million more than second place right here that I'm seeing. Right, right. So I, I think, you know, it's it's all about having good discipline and setting goals and achieving those targets, right? So yes. I... So, so you do have a very big uh, collection power. Now, I know we, I've talked to you before. I've talked to you uh, after that Red Skull Blitz. You're like, no, nah, I don't really want to do an interview. You came to me this time after seeing an article on Reddit. So before we go into this thought process, let me let me just get your reaction to this article on Reddit that you sent me. How is getting this high of a score not considered cheating is the title. It has 161 upvotes. Over 89 million points scored for this weekend's Blitz. Honestly, I want to know how that's not cheating. Something has to be done about the bots. Now, uh, before I get to your process, I guess I guess the big question out there, are you using a bot? Well, definitely not, right? It's 100% hot no. <laughs> yeah, I would think that. I mean, we're looking at your collection power here. You have 11 million total collection power. That is insane. So, so obviously you could you could score some uh, big points there. You've also scored the uh, biggest in that uh, the last round of the Red Skull Blitz. What is uh, what is what is your thought process when you go through Blitz? How does it start for you? How does that opening rotation go? And what what are your targets that you set for yourself? I know you said talked about setting some goals as far as Blitz. Yeah, definitely. So, I think before you know even Thursday comes along, like you you gotta have your mindset ready. So kind of like you're thinking about like, you know, you want to rank number one, you want to go all the way. Um, so before that, you start, of course, you start saving your, your Blitz charges, right? Mm -hmm. And I think the second most important element uh, in Blitz is people tend to forget is cores, right? Basically, you know, cores are free. Um, if, if you're like me, you get ranked on Arena for number one or number two. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, you, you, you save up a, a collective number of cores. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the way I approach it is that the moment it hits 5 p.m. Uh, on the Thursday afternoon, um, I start off with my, you know, I have 27 teams. Uh, and each one of them uh, hitting around 400k uh, in collection power. Sorry, Jeez, TCP. no Sorry. wonder you got that kind oh. of score. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a lot of people are failing to understand that, you know, you have a big CP, um, you know, you have a strong uh, collection power, and you're able to, to block a lot more damage, you're able to block a lot more points and blitz. And, you know, they're just seeing it from their perspective, like, oh, I could never reach that score. I mean, yeah, it takes a while to get there, and you know, with a, with a CP like mine, I can obviously do it, you know, more consistently. Yeah. So, you know, I, I really, what I do is I start off with, um, you know, I've got 27 teams uh, and I start off with the bottom teams. I think that's how everyone does it. Yeah. Um, until you hit like tier 8.3 and tier 8, right? So, 
Um, the one thing I must note is that I, I rarely um, lose on 8.3, so that is a good thing. But I sometimes do. It still happens. You know, sometimes RNG happens, or when you're using defenders against uh, X Men, <laughs> something like that. Um, don't don't ever don't try take that. that matchup. That's a bad matchup. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. So, and it's all it's all about matchups, right? And I, I pick like if I can, I'll pick hand teams, right? That that is like, the easiest to win, and it's guaranteed a show win. Um, you know, uh, other things to look out for uh, uh, are teams like Wakanda and our armor. Sometimes they get really messy and they might lose. Mm. Um, so a lot of people ask me, like, you know, do I need to do? Um, do I drop the tiers down from eight point three to eight point zero? Um, the answer is no. I rarely do that uh, unless you know it's. I, unless I really can't find a good matchup for the teams I have, and then uh -huh. I'll drop it down, and then we'll get back up again because it, it wastes time, and it, you know you you have to go down and come back up again. So at eight point three, I'm clocking about you know 150, no oh, sorry, 130,000 points versus at eight point zero, it's probably like 100k. So that's okay. 30 points difference there. So all these you know all this math would make up, uh, and it makes your life easier. Yeah, that that was my next question. How much are you scoring per match? It's about 130 per match at 8.3. Yep, on average, that's pretty Jeez. much. Jeez. <laughs> and how much? How much are you scoring on rotation on each rotation average? And right now with the Red Star rework, I'm only about one, a little over a million, maybe one and a half million if I get all the teams. What is what does someone with 11 million collection power have as far as uh, their rotations? Jeez. So I, on average, I mean, on my bad days, you know, I do like 1.7 million. Um, but if on okay. a on a good day, on well, on average, on a good day, it's going to be around 2.3 or 2.5. Okay. So 89 million. That is that is what 40 40 rotations. Is that am I calculating that right? Uh, I lost count, but you know the <laughs> way. <laughs> Sorry, that's that's not, that's not meant to be a joke, but like um, the oh, way I, I, I know, go about I know it, how right, crazy it gets, and, and I don't even do as much <laughs> as you, so. <laughs> I know, but like I mentioned about setting targets, right? So what I do yes. is, you know, I, I, you know, if I targeted to hit 80 million points, 80 million points, and I broke it up to like maybe hitting, you know, 30 million the first day, um, 50 million the second day, and then 70 on the third day, and then do a final push on the last day, and then right. So um, I would say, fortunately or unfortunately, you know, on my first day, I actually hit like um, I think 30 million. That, that was a good number for me and then i, I kind of like took it easy i was like okay oh well just spend my right that's with quarry so i'm spending i'm spending a lot of cores on it so um okay. you know a lot of people will might disagree and say you know what there's no way that you can do so many rotations within 24 hours i'm like no you're forgetting that you can just use cores mm -hmm. and not have to wait every two hours to do it um i can share a little bit more but i don't want to give away my strategy um is that you know i core and I call, I call up to maybe about like each team will cost me about two to three hundred um cores every and then, on, so on a daily on a daily basis on a daily basis yes and that's okay. how you can achieve like 30 million or like you know 25 million a day points kind of stuff okay um i mean at the end of the day you got to work out your math right so to me it makes more sense to to work hard and you know using cores just to get to the number one spot versus you trying to buy an offer that costs you like 50 bucks and then you you open up an, uh, oh, an orb that has like six shots in it and it's <laughs> yeah. terrible rng so it's yes. not worth spending your money and yes. you know that's that's the whole thing about this thing and when people are asking me why am i so crazy why am i going all the way out like it makes sense financially you know time span um and getting the getting the shots basically and not having to spend money to unlock a character now, that, that, that was going to be my next question about money. You said not having to spend money. So are, are, you, are you just using this? Are you just doing this from a course that you saved up for Marina? Or are you spending actually real world money to get this score? Um, definitely from using my own course and a combination of both. Um, but I'm not going to disclose how. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want That's you. To, I don't That's want the smart people to work out the math because on Reddit, <laughs> they, I've, I'm seeing a lot of interesting theories, and I'm honestly, I'm very flattered, right? Like people are trying to figure out how I do it, but I'm not going to teach. I'm not going to tell. Well, it's my secret sauce. I got it. I got it. I'm trying to get as much out of you as possible for some of the new players, but I know this is mainly about about uh, about the blitz bots. So. You know what is what is it like competing against blitz bots, knowing that they're out there? I don't know how frequent that or prevalent they are, but they're out there. Uh, the people have said that they know certain people in the top 100 that are using them. 
Uh, what is it knowing that you have to compete against these uh, these bots, these robots that are doing this all the just on around the clock? Well, personally, I'm not too bothered by it because I know that you know I'm using my hands, right? For sure, you yeah. know if Fox, if Foxnet were to look at my screen and do like a screen check on what I'm doing, it's manual, and I make, sometimes I do make mistakes. <laughs> so, um, you know, I I know you can configure a bot to do that too, but the point is, you know, it's natural, right? What I'm doing is 100% yeah. authentic human behavior. Um, the thing about competing with bots is that you know I, I think. It's out there I, for sure. It's I'm I'm seeing a lot of people cheating. So even in the dark dimension three, yeah, like some people without the complete tunes can actually score higher than some of us, right? And they're yeah. they're in there yeah. completing the notes. But my point is that if you're cheating, don't make it too obvious, right? I'm sure that person will not be going for number one because you know you will be under a lot of scrutiny. Yeah, there's some people. There's some people that have done that in Dark Dimension Three, and I, and I don't know Three, but in other Dark Dimensions, they've they've made it very obvious they're cheating. Exactly my point. You shouldn't <laughs> be doing that, right? If you don't want to get caught. So, I mean, if your question is, you know, am I worried about someone overtaking the number one spot using yeah. a bot? I'm like, yeah, I, I don't think you've been stupid enough to do that, right? So I, I don't I don't think that they would want to risk um, doing that. Yeah, especially uh, what the risk is, you know, having your account banned. I'm sure, I don't know how much money you spent on this account total, but I'm sure at the very least, you spent a lot of hours putting this account together. Getting that all banned for some blitz bots for a little extra shards of a character, I, I don't know if it's going to be worth it to some people with the uh, high collection powers like you have. So I just, I just, I just don't see the benefit in it. Uh, maybe short term getting some shards for a character, but the long-term benefit, I, I just don't see it with the risk of being banned out there. Absolutely. Um, let me let me ask you a question real quick, because I know for myself, once I get to 8.3, there's certain teams that I could just pick that team, find the right matchup and go full auto. Are you, are you playing out every single battle or are you throwing a lot of your teams on auto once you find a good matchup? It's 100% on auto. Auto. Okay. <laughs> is it is it all is it all of your squads or just certain squads? You're like, oh, this one might be a tough matchup, or or are you or are you, all your teams built enough with the T4s, everything to just fully auto every all your matchups? So I would say out of 27 teams, um, I think 24 of them are actually in auto, Jeez. and they're only they're only three teams that I would pay special attention to because you need to get the setup right in order for you to win, right? Yeah. So things like Wakanda, right? Wakanda is, you know, it's the most debated team out there that, you know, is it useful? Is it like the raid team? Honestly, to me, like sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. So I'm like, it's a 50-50, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to take a chance on losing 130k points. So like, I got to play that one out. Um, mm -hmm. Normally I'll play it halfway and make sure I hit the right tunes uh, before I go full auto on, on those teams as well. But got it. Um, and power armor is another one, right? That, you know, during war, they work perfectly fine. But, you know, when it's in a blitz match, it's like, you know, the buffs don't work. And sometimes they just mess up. If if it goes on auto, you know, the, the sequence of attack is different from what you would normally do in, in a war battle. So those yeah. are those teams that I would pay special attention to and make sure that, you know, I manually win those, those uh, scores. All right, so this, this, is, this has been a uh, much debated topic with my brother Casino about his blitz predictions and how this actually affects affects scores. And I've always said it it affects me because I look with the scores and I try to shoot a little bit above that. What is your reaction and how does blitz predictions affect you? Someone that's going for the top five pretty much all the time. So to share a little bit of disclaimer here, right? Um, whatever I'm going to be talking about is pertaining to you know ranking number one or like number top fifteen, for example, right? Okay, got and it. I know that there's different tiers. So like top one hundred, the cutoff is going to be different. Top two thousand is going to be different. Like those are very controversial. Like I've seen I myself personally, right? I've been ranked two thousand and two before. Oh, <laughs> and I, was, oh. I, was, I was like, dude, that's the second worst place to get ranked. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, dude, the predictions are wrong. Like, how can we do this, right? And oh, why why didn't you get your predictions right? Don't you work for them? Uh, I'm just kidding. Um, so, you know, I think for me, to be honest, it really stumbled upon me when um, my first blitz with the Red Skull, right? And, you know, I saw the predictions. It was like 72 million or like 70 million. I was like, damn, you know, how much does one need to, to, to do to get there? Um, and it really just stumbled upon me and I was working my way and 
And when I when I got number one for the Blitz, um, and I checked the second spot, he was probably at like 50 or 56 million. Mm. It's like, wow, I've wasted so much additional time <laughs> on it when you know, I don't need to. So it brings up the topic of like, why are we increasing prediction scores? And you know, what is what is the rationale? What is the logic behind it? What is the formula that we're using? It seems like in every blitz and every next upcoming blitz, it's just going up higher and higher. Yeah. And a lot of people blame me for for um, you know in, in well, what's the word inflating the score? But to me, it's like, hey, you set those predictions. I meet those predictions. And I'm just trying to do my best not to get uh, number two, for example. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did a good job in that second red skull and you, you smashed it in this uh, second Corvus blitz. I both times just smashed the competition for that. But um, yeah, so are, are you in favor of these blitz prediction scores? Uh, you, you like the stress? You like kind of uh, having a target or do you, uh, would you rather just see it kind of uh, everybody does their own thing? Oh, um, well benefit of the greater good i would say that i don't like the prediction scores right because it helps <laughs> it, it doesn't it gives well it gives people the incentive to spend more to try and hit the minimum and but that is really stressing people out right yeah and even for myself personally right when you know during both of the blitz i was like worried and i was constantly thinking like am is this enough you know is this uh, enough for top number one or is this enough to i don't want to just get number two again because it happened to me on the previous splits. Um, mm. And it's all because of predictions, because people look up to those numbers and yeah. the community depends on those numbers, right? We we take um, whatever predictions come out as a guide. And basically, most of the time, I would say, you know, they do a pretty good job. 95% of the time, they're pretty accurate. Um, but that's the whole point, right? You, you're setting these numbers up for us to hit. And, you know, it's up to the players, right? If you don't hit it, it's my fault. You know, if you hit it, it's, it's good for you. Like, yeah. What do you do? What? How much do you spend to get that? Right. I'm talking about like people who hit 2002, 2001. <laughs> like they put they put in money too, right? They they work hard. They don't sleep. Whatever, right? So at the end of the day, you know, whatever you, whatever numbers that you guys put out, the content creators, you know, is what we look up to. And all I'm saying is I'm I'm appealing to you guys. Like reduce the numbers, drop the numbers. It's only going to benefit Foxnet. Right, and they're the ones getting paid. <laughs> yeah. We don't get a single cent. We don't get anything. We, we we might not even get the shots if we hit 2002. Right? I, I'm just saying that you know that is a constant struggle and constant stress that each of these players are facing. Yeah. So uh, would you would you would you? I, I'm going to talk to him tonight. Do you want me to ask him if he if it's just something he would stop? Do you think that's been more beneficial to the greater good to not have blitz prediction scores, or do you think more? players at the one, two, three, five, those percentage levels are getting benefit out of this to, uh, that he should continue doing this. What, what is, what are your thoughts on this? I think, you know, it's a good thing that he's doing. I think he should continue doing it, but all I'm asking is that he reduce those numbers, uh, because you know, those would set the tone for us. Right. And yeah, you know, whatever number they set is whatever number that we'll try and achieve. Got it. Got it. I got, I got, I got two more questions. So uh, these blitz bots, and you talked about the blitz uh, predictions driving up the scores. Do you think these blitz bots are driving up scores as well? Oh, definitely. Okay, 100%. so so my follow up question: If they're driving the scores, do you think it's in Fox Next best interest to stop these blitz bots, considering that scores are being driven up by these blitz bots, and uh, they're probably making more money? Maybe maybe not off of you, but players that don't do as well in arena, don't have these power cores to spend, that have to spend these to get these blitz charges to score higher in blitz. Do you think that uh, it's in their best interest to stop these blitz botters right now? Uh, just It's a two-pronged answer, right? So number one, any kind of cheating, you know, should, shouldn't be in the game, right? And it's their yeah. job to, to figure it out and you know, patch it or like prevent it from happening. So I yeah. think it's really, it's up to them, right? It's not, it's not up to me to tell them how to run a company. Oh, I know but, um, it's not, I, I, I just wanted your, reaction as someone that has scored the most blitz points ever two times one before the red star rework and then now since the red star rework both both of your scores have been the top blitz scores ever right right so, um yeah absolutely you know i think um i want to i want to talk a little bit about like you know how we talked about shelling too right mm -hmm. and that that has adverse effects on the alliance out there and i've known yeah. brand alliance myself and you tough and you know we sometimes we, we we get like four two wins and we don't get ranked top hundred because some shell alliance is sitting in 
20. Mm. <laughs> and it just doesn't make sense, right? So yeah. I think, you know, eventually you'll come to that point where people are getting kicked out of top 2000, top 100 because of uh, people using bots. And, you know, it's in Foxnet's uh, uh, ability and, you know, it's in, supposedly in their mandate to re remove any cheating and make sure that this is a fair game system for everyone. I'm a strong advocate for so I'm definitely supportive if they do it. I would yeah, love for them to do it. Yeah, honestly, I think uh, maybe short term, it'll help their profits a little bit more to have these bots going on. But long term, I don't think it's good for their company and their game to have cheating going on. So I think I think the uh, person I think it is in their best interest to solve this. I'm not sure why it's taken so long to figure out what the heck is going on with this. But uh, I do think that they do want to solve this. And uh, a last question before you go, brother, unless you have anything else. Uh, do you wake up in the middle of the night to do some blitzing to throw a few teams on auto? <laughs> you know, that is actually my question that I wanted to add, uh, to address with you. So, <laughs> oh. Save me the best one for last, brother. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, well, the answer is, well, to be, well, I slept a full 10 hours on both the weekends. Okay, so, good, good, good. <laughs> You know, I, I don't want to. I don't want to sound cocky, but the thing is that if you have a well-targeted plan, and if you hit your target before nighttime, you're free to go sleep. Why do you need to wake up in the middle of the night to try and blitz? And you know, this is a game. At the end of the day, it's not something that you're living for. A lot of people are just saying that we, you know the people at the top have no life. They're we're whales. And we do uh, everything and everything to keep it going. But my point yeah. is that you know it's a game. You know, yeah. I know we've been playing for a long time. We make friends. We've got good friendships. Um, that those are the things that I treasure more than you know, actually having to wake up in the middle of the night and going to the bathroom and trying to clock in two more rotations. Um, and I've got 27 teams, so that's going to take an hour for me. So I'm not going to do that. Even on auto, um, right? Even on auto, just go through all those teams. Definitely, definitely. And the most interesting thing for me is that you know, on Sunday morning at 11 a.m., I actually hit uh, my target of uh, 85 million. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to take a break. Oh my so goodness, in, you did this, this, you could have even pushed more if you wanted to, jeez. Absolutely, and you know, actually, I was discussing with my friends and my alliance mates, right, and in Smash, we were like, hey, do you want me to push to 100? Like, should I go to 100? Like, yeah, they're like, yeah, don't have to do it, don't have to spend, you know, like, there's no need to do that. I'm like, okay, sure. You know, jeez. I'm just saying it's possible. It's definitely possible, right? You know, work smart, play smart, and figure out your strategy and, you know, save up cords and, you know, spend money if you want to. I'm not telling you not to spend, right? Yeah. My point is that you, you don't have to cheat, you know? And you know, what I do is, you know, from dinner time to, to my bedtime, which is like 8 to 11, I'm on Blitz. I'm watching TV on the side. I'm playing other games. I'm playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> this is not your life, right? And, and yeah. Blitz doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be a painful day. It, it gives you benefit. So... Uh, this, that's, that's my advice to the community. Got it. Well, I guess the takeaway here, guys, is uh, you don't need blitz botting to score high. Uh, you probably need a big collection power, but even even if you're not shooting for the top one, uh, number one in blitz or the top 100, uh, you can still do pretty good by just uh, focusing on goals and uh, and hitting your targets and being... Uh, being smart about how you blitz. I think that's the take home message here. Before you go, brother, you have anything else that you want to uh, express to the community? Uh, any, any warnings about future blitzes, what you intend to score? Or are you gonna keep that for, for yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I need to let out uh, an evil laugh because, uh, you know, 100, 100, 100 million seems very possible. 100 million and seemed like it was possible this time. So man, I, I'm wondering when we're gonna see 100 million from you. Oh, you better pray is not a character that I really like. So I'm, I'm really in love with Red Skull, and that's why I went all the way, right? And that started this whole thing about me exploring and how to do it effectively and having yeah. a strategy. And I'm like, you know, now that it's so attainable, I'm like, okay, well, maybe something you could, could try. Well, hopefully one day we could get together for a guide when, when you don't really care about these characters anymore or something. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. All right. all right, brother, any, any shout outs you want to give before you go? Uh, well, of course, to my alliance, so Smash, you know. UH we, Smash, brother. I, I I was in the Pants of Hope cluster for a little bit. Uh, good good group of guys there. So, you know, um, we, we're a very loyal um, bunch of people, right? And I mean, I, I want to give a shout out to DK. Uh, even though he's the number one player, but really he's not like, he's not arrogant. He's not like the number one player that you think he is. He's a great leader. Um, and, you know, my friendship with him has been going on for like almost two years now, right? And, you nice. know, it's 
it's the thing that keeps me in the game, right? And we play around friends that we, we really want to play with. And that's yeah. what makes it fun. And even within Smash itself, we're pretty competitive. So like, um, we're making uh, internal predictions about my score. <laughs> so people are like, oh, are you going to do 70 million? I'm like, more, more, give me more. And oh, then they're like, goodness. oh. <laughs> and it's really a very bunch of loyal people and very good people. And we, we try to help the community. We put out like infographics and we share, you know, any news that we get from uh, Fox Next as soon as we can. So I think, if anyone who is considering, um, you know, give me a shout. Um, and I posted my, uh, my my Discord in the Reddit channel, but no one has reached out to me yet to, to <laughs> challenge me on why am I getting number one. So feel free to reach out to me. Well, um, I don't know. If, if you want to reach out, if you can, but hopefully uh, if you're challenging his score, hopefully this interview clears a little bit of that up and it hopefully gives you some tips as well to help your blitz scores improve uh, kind of the mindset that you have to go into uh, when you when there's a blitz that you really want to score big on uh steel thank you once again for joining me i know we've talked a few different times but uh, we finally got together for a video so Thank you guys. And I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Hopefully it provided some value to you. If it did, make sure you subscribe, smash on that like button, join the notification squad, guys. Ring that bell. You get notified every time a new video goes up and there are at least, at least minimum, four new videos of Mar about Marvel Strike Force every week. And I will see you guys next time. Make sure you guys check me out on social media. Check out some of the links down below, guys. There's a sale at Tee Public right now for some Valley merch. There's some other cool links that support the channel down below. And I will see you guys next time. Before you go, give me a Hulk fist bump, baby! Valley flying out!